In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Carbonized Mandalorian. <laughs> Hi there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosx Bounty video and welcome to my review of the Carbonized Mandalorian. He is part of the Vintage Collection as you know. And the reason I wanted to do this review was for two couple of reasons really. First reason is that I think this is probably the best one of the carbonized line, the four figures that we've got in the vintage collection. Also, this did come in that Hasbro box that they kindly sent me, so, and it's a little bit damaged with the bubble, so I see no reason why I shouldn't open this. And the third reason is that because the little blaster there, my son, unfortunately lost his from his original Mandalorian on the very first day that he opened the figure. And ever since then, He's wanted a replacement blaster. He's been using another figure's blaster to sort of replace that one. So once I open this one, he's going to get that little blaster to go with his standard Mandalorian. Anyway, we're just going to take a look at the packaging very, very quickly. So as we know, these are the carbonite versions or carbonized versions of the vintage collection figures. You've got the little sticker there on the racetrack design and it's super super shiny so that when you go like that you can hardly see what's going on you have to have it at certain lights to see the image on the card back it is the same image as the standard mandalorian and another reason why i wanted to get this figure out of the packaging is because i do want to compare him against the original mandalorian just to see the difference in paintwork and what they've exactly done to the figure to, to get him all shiny um apart from that i'm not overly keen on these i, I hope they don't really do any more of them i think four's enough for the carbonized line of vintage collection figures and i'd rather have new figures if i'm brutally honest anyway let's get them out of the packaging and we'll take a look all right then so here is the figure outside of the packaging and as you can see he is super super shiny if we just bring in the other figure just for a short comparison i mean wow it's a very strange technique that they've done with the paint it's it's almost just like a sort of like varnish wash over the actual paint because the paint colors to me look the same it's just got this sort of like glittery varnish over the top of it some of the colors are different i mean around his ankles there you can see one this one's brown and that one's more of like a bronze color um the other thing i did notice when i took this figure out of the packet is that his head is just like mega loose super loose compared to the other one that could just be this one in particular though but there he is looking pretty, pretty cool. As I said, you know, I, I think these are more for like your inbox collectors or carded collectors. It, it's not really going to fit in with the rest of my collection. You know, I much prefer the, the original one. I mean, this, this for me up until recently was basically figure of the year. I mean, it's just a stunning figure. When I first got this figure, I was super impressed with it. And of course, this one uses the same sculpt and the same mold and what have you. So still a very, very good figure in terms of the figure. But, you know, the paintwork is just not for me, really. Of course, the articulation's all there with the head and the shoulders. We've got elbows. We've got joints in the wrists. We've got splits of the thighs, ball jointed hips, knees. Uh, we've got joints at the ankles instead of rockers, which is, I, I guess, the only downside of the figure and of course he does come with the plastic cape which is a which is a bit of a shame the uh, the big rifle does fit in the back there so you can have it on his back and have him holding the pistol instead just like i've got this guy here looking very very cool in that pose you can see it there on his back pretty awesome the weapons as well have been carbonized so they've got a shine to them uh, but my son won't notice the difference he'll be very he'll be very happy to have this blaster back in his collection um, as i said he did lose it the the very first day he opened his mandalorian figure i said to him be careful that blaster it's super small you don't want to lose that blaster because it's it's you know it's ex it's just for this figure no no other figure has got that blaster and uh, he lost it like five minutes later and he's very upset so um it's taken a while but i've replaced it finally for him with this one So there you go then guys, that is the carbonized Mandalorian for the vintage collection. Uh, not too much else to say about these. This is the only one that I'm gonna, I've opened the Death Trooper, but this is the only other one that I'm going to open of that line. 
Um, I don't really see too much point in opening the others. They're, they're for the carded collection and they're already on my wall with the rest of my Mandalorian figures. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Let me just bring in that other figure now for a comparison so you can really see the difference of the two. Exactly the same mould and sculpt. This one's carbonised, this one's not. All right then guys, that's it for this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and we shall see you on the next one.